rematch and we get the vp counter great cool so he's going first man that feature that feature i'm a big fan and i updated the text box right yes i did um okay four three uh, attacks what do we got here nothing trashing masquerade whoa we got horn and mandarin uh, <laughs> that's the thing um trashing masquerade sword and watchtower village is once again not here what have you got here for non-terminals you've got highway scheme got a couple of very good kingdom treasures but uh that means there's no non-terminal draw so horn gets a lot worse and that also or what i mean masquerade is here so that uh, that's actually fine uh masquerade does break the mandarin horn trick though so that's sad um plus by you don't have it, but there's Horn, and Highway does have really good synergy with Horn. So, like, even though there is no draw, there may be some value in Horn. Counterfeit also has a pretty good synergy with Horn. Well, it's it's not really synergy. It's more like an interaction that's sometimes not terrible if you do it right. So, like, Masquerade and Counterfeit are really good, and Highway's pretty good, but, like really you're playing big money here how mega can you go with all the highways and a bunch of horns like you can only get five provinces and that does take quite a, a while to set up i think some version of big money with masquerade and counterfeit is going to be best here just trying to ride the line of being thin because it's good and not being too thin so you don't get screwed by Masquerade, but eh. That, that just sounds like Masquerade big money with maybe a counterfeit on five. Like, maybe. If you hit exactly five. Scheme? Meh. I, I just don't see it being better than Silver at any point. Scavenger's a good card. I may get one of those when the deck starts to bloat. Maybe. We'll see might be better than silver at some point yeah i think it's going to be masquerade silver and mostly money i like counterfeit over highway for exactly five this board ha it's like so so close to being really stinking cool but it's not whoa he passed me a copper that's pretty lucky i mean he does get a gold out of it oh man I don't know. That would have been a tough call for me. I, I guess I shouldn't judge. I haven't really thought about it. But it's totally counterfeit for me on exactly five. I did get lucky, though. That was, was economically very good for me. And this is bad for him, too. He didn't even hit three. So I'm off to a decent advantage. Get out of here. A lot of options to consider here at the bottom of my shuffle. Masquerade, Explorer are both okay highway is not terrible silver these are all the things i'm between i really don't want a second counterfeit in this deck explorer meh no i don't i don't like it i mean it's okay it's a terminal silver with an upside that's very similar to Scavenger. Terminal space is sort of... I mean, adding another terminal is fine here. I like that better than Second Masquerade. And I guess I like the benefit of Explorer right now better than the benefit of Scavenger. I have some confidence that I'll, I'll get my deck to the thinness that I believe is appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. I've just talked myself into buying an explorer. Huh. Uh, unfortunate for him again, he's got like four estates in his deck and I have zero. I think keeping the copper and getting a gold here uh, is pretty good. I want golds. Well, of course he passes it right back, so it didn't matter at all. 
But that that copper was good to have, you know. Get some highways. He's hitting exactly five, right? So I'm gonna have nine and two buys. I I think something like gold silver or maybe gold masquerade is probably okay here. Yeah. I mean, there there's a little bit of value in getting an early province with explorer. Hmm. But Gold Masquerade is so good. I still plan to thin. Adding the third terminal it doesn't feel as good here because that terminal isn't Courtyard, you know? Courtyard doesn't count as like a full terminal in that sense. I'm also thinking about something like Silver Mandarin. No, the, the other options are just way better than that. I mean, it's not bad, but other things are better. Man, that's tough. I'm not convinced that Province was wrong there. A lot of options that seem somewhat relatively close. I hope I don't draw a dead explorer. A second counterfeit could be good shortly. Uh, there is some synergy between Explorer and Counterfeit. So I've got 2, 4, 6 plus whatever I Counterfeit. I could Counterfeit Silver and get a Province. Seems kind of meh. Man, he's getting a lot of highways! Man, I'm very tempted by getting a province right now. This is all really good stuff in here. I should be able to province the next two turns. Unless terrible things happen. I feel like maybe horn number one is better than highway number five for him. If he's going to go that route. No, he's just draining the highways. The highways are just like, I mean, with counterfeit, you get a buy, but man, Horn is super good there. I feel like you want it. Huh. Uh, well, I don't want this terminal, but uh, I can just pass it back to him at some point. This is his only masquerade. There is some benefit to denying it. Uh, uh, he's got so many highways, it, it's probably not good in his deck anymore. I might as well just pass it back. It's hard to tell where to click on that thing to make it go back. Yeah, Masquerade's still probably better than Copper in my deck right now. This is pretty fortunate. I also, now he has zero Masquerades at this moment. I don't have to worry so, so much about 
getting too thin, but for that reason, but there are other reasons to not get too thin, because, like, this is a big money game when it comes down to it, despite the fact that my opponent has six highways. Like, if you get eight highways in play, you can, like, counterfeit, counterfeit, horn, horn, probably another counterfeit in there. You could actually gain all the provinces. This is something I didn't consider. Because I assumed highways would be contested. Oh, but he's cashing in already. Sort of. Okay, fine. Alright, well, what he's doing is pretty good. Yeah, this estate's going to be important. We can't trash it. This is not a good hand. Okay, that was not a good hand for him. I think we just play the explorer and gain a and buy a duchy. Should be able to province this turn and that threat is important. Because it means he won't be able to double province next turn without getting some kind of points. Yeah, and this is the best thing for my deck. There should be like a masquerade in there. Ooh, wow, what a great hand. This is super good. And I feel very good because uh, he can't play Masquerade on me. <sighs> Double province, you know you want to. Okay. He was thinking about a shuffle there. Even double province in a state is probably something I can beat. Well, it's something I can beat with the cards I'm looking at. If he goes just double province in a state, though, uh, then I definitely don't play the Masquerade. Eh, it, well, it doesn't matter, but... It's a shame. Well, I also have to think about this Masquerade triggers a shuffle, and these are a lot of really good cards. Wow, that was a lot of points. Um, takes province double duchy to catch him. Wow, that was a turn. I think I have to counterfeit this silver and get double duchy and hope he duds. Big turn for him. He really crapped on his deck to do it, but... You know, big turn. Double duchy is what I have to get, though. It's, uh, I can't... I mean, if I had infinite money, I'm only going to have these two buys. I'd be happier counterfeiting a copper, but I really want to shuffle these golds back in. So, yeah, this is the play. Okay, well, it's province hand. Unfortunately, that's not going to matter if he can get a duchy, which he can. So I'll just get a duchy here, and then well, I have a decent shot. He has to have somewhat of a dud again. Uh, 
Oh, hey, come on, come on. No big stuff. Stop, stop it. Uh, I can take a tie here. I probably should just take a tie, shouldn't I? Yeah. Yep. 